Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oracio Imperata. Please kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to the find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts with the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthening their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us a grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and raised with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsol. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please stand. Sing to the Lord with shouts of joy, let all creation rejoice. Come join the song of praise to our God, He is the Lord, He is the Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord.
King of creation is faithful. Praise His name, praise His name, sing of His salvation. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, many advertisements proclaim that fulfillment is can only be obtained in the pleasures that money, power, and material possessions bring. Jesus tells us, however, that true happiness can only come from living the values of God's kingdom that are expressed in the Beatitudes. Happiness belongs to those who rely on the Lord for their strength and protection. It belongs to those who in their lives mirror Jesus, who was meek and humble of heart who gave everything in obedience to the Father. In a special way, we include our personal intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
yes. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, the mighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. In the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, love of God, Son. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand. The right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the heart. And on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The salvation of Israel is not in the hands of the powerful and the mighty, but in those of the humble and the lowly, whom the Lord will build up after the defeat of the nation. The Lord will make of the remnant a people faithful to him. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Perhaps you may be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will live as a remnant in your midst, a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, 
nor shall, shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord sets captives free. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord gives sight to the blind, the Lord raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord loves the just, the Lord protects strangers. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The fatherless and the widow of the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Paul reminds the Christians in Corinth that the gift of faith comes purely from the graciousness of God, who favors the humble and the weak over those who boast of their status and influence. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world. Those who count for nothing to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, Whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pag sinasabihan po natin yung tao na napaka-bless mo naman, napaka-bless mo naman, ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin napaka-bless mo naman, May nakita tayo sa kanya, especially siguro, una, masaya siya, pangalawa, meron siyang na-attain o natanggap sa buhay, at marami pang iba. And that is why sinasabi natin, napaka-bless mo naman. Bakit kaya ina-address natin or sinasabihan natin ang isang tao na bless? Okay. Kaya nga meron din pa yung word na share your blessing. We need to share our blessings coming or at we receive from somebody or from God. So we need to share our blessing. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel for today, we heard about the Beatitudes of Jesus Christ. Yung puro panimula niya, blessed are you. When you are persecuted, blessed are the meek. So, nag start po siya sa word na blessed. Kung itra-translate po natin yan sa Tagalog at Ilocano, ang blessed or bless ay sa Tagalog ay pinagpala. Sa Ilocano, napagasatan. Okay? Napagasatan. Pinagpala tayo kasi... Binigyan tayo ng Diyos ng buhay. We are blessed because God gave us everything. And sometimes, the word bless translated into happiness. Nagiging masaya tayo. Tignan nyo po. Sabi ko kanina, pag sinabi natin blessing tao, anong reaction, anong nakikita natin sa tao? Magaan yung mukha niya, masaya siya, Parang as if, parang wala siyang problema. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we are blessed, we are in a mode or we are happy. We can attain happiness. But the question, ang ating bang happiness, nagre-rely lang ba sa worldly things? Kasi kung mapansinin po natin, meron po yung sinasabi nating panandali ang saya. Like for example, meron tayong bagong sakyan, madami tayong pera. Yan po yan is material possessions po yan. Kaya nga yung introduction, kani, introduction natin kanina, 
it pertains to the material possessions. But my dear brothers and sisters, yan lang po ay panandaliang saya. What we can attain, we are dreaming of, is that we need to attain the eternal and lasting happiness. And we can only achieve that through Jesus Christ. Ang ganda po, di ba? From worldly possessions, worldly things, to godly things, godly realities. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to talk, we need to understand that we are all blessed. We are all blessed indeed. Bakit? Sabihin natin, ang mga na, na pinagpapala lang naman yung mga may kaya. Ang mga pinagpapala lang naman yung mga popular. Ang mga pinagpapala lang naman yung mga merong lahat sa kanila. And that is our definition of being pinagpala, being blessed. But I don't think so that would be our understanding, the, the real understanding of being blessed. Tayo lahat po, sabi ko kanina, pinagpala tayo ng Diyos. Because you are here. He gave you life. He gave you the people you love. He gave you everything. Sabi nga natin, nakakakain tayo ng mga ng tatlong beses sa isang araw o dalawang beses sa isang araw. Ibig sabihin, hindi tayo pinapabayaan ng Diyos. And we are blessed indeed. And that is why Jesus is telling to the people, on the mountain, kaya nga sermon on the mount ito, because people will go to Jesus to listen for His teaching, para makinig sa Kanyang salita. Ano ba yung mga sinabi ni Jesus Christ? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. And all these things are things that we experience. Lahat naman po tayo na-experience natin ito eh. It doesn't mean that when we are poor, not only material things, if we are poor in relationship, if we are poor in our dealings with other people, if we are poor in our dealings with God, then God will always be there for us. God will always understand us. Kaya nga kung titignan natin, being blessed is we are in a, in a place, in a state wherein we recognize the presence of God in our life. Kaya nga sabi na, if people find happiness in money or in things, then Jesus is not. Hindi yun ang pinapresent sa atin ni Jesus Christ. Para kay Jesus Christ, True happiness can only attain if we are doing God's will. My dear brothers and sisters, for all of us Christians, real happiness is neither money or things, but God. God alone. God is the source of justice, mercy, caring, understanding, peace, generosity, harmony, and Love, my dear brothers and sisters. Ito sana yung intindihin natin. Sana ma-realize natin that all these things can pass away. But our love for God can never pass away. We can only attain eternal happiness, lasting happiness, if we recognize the presence of God in our life. Sabi nga nila, for all of us Christians, our peace and strength and happiness comes from Jesus Christ. We have an attachable, untouchable source of happiness. Pansinin niyo po, yung pong nahihirapan na tao, yung pong talagang na bagsak na bagsak talaga yung kanyang sistema, even sa kanyang pag-iisip or attitudes, pumupunta siya sa, sa simbahan and he feel the presence of God, then he can gain strength. O tignan niyo po, yung mga martyr natin, when they go to a certain place and proclaim Jesus Christ, they don't even understand, they, they, they forget their life. Hindi nila iniintindihan kanilang buhay. What is important is that they go with the teaching of the church, they proclaim the word of God, bahala na ang Diyos sa akin. And they attain the reward, they get the reward from heaven. 
not, on, not here, in, on, here on earth, my dear brothers and sisters. Yun sana yung intindihin natin. Sabi ko kanina, pinagpala ka kung ginagawa mo ang Diyos. Pinagpala ka kung ikaw ay sumusunod sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, the Beatitudes is just like be attitudes our attitudes towards others and towards God. And so let us try to be humble. Let us try to be meek. Let us try to be merciful. Let us try to be considerate to other people. Because all these things gave us a reflection of Jesus in our day-to-day life. Sana maintindihan natin na lahat ng ginagawa ng Diyos sa atin, lahat ng binibigay sa atin ng Diyos, ay kagustuhan niya. At sana maintindihan natin na tayo ay isang source of blessing also. We are blessed and so let us try to share our blessing also to other people. Pinagpala po tayo. And so my dear brothers and sisters, if we want to be happy, we all want to be happy or fortunate in life. Ito yung dream natin. If we want to be blessed in life, our gospel is our solution. Our gospel is Uh, is a reminder for us, my dear brothers and sisters. We learn from it today because we are blessed. First, work hard for that which truly makes you blessed. Or anong pinaka nag, nagbibigay sa atin ng kasiyahan. Second, to be happy, accept the truth that this world is imperfect, but do something to make this world perfect. And lastly, Our aim is to be with God. And our happiness, we can only attain that if we are with God. Because true, last, true and lasting happiness, Jesus will give us as long as we are with Him. Kaya nga sabi natin, God is with us as we continue our journey here on earth. Pinagpala ka and so share your blessing to others because we are all be blessed by God. because of His love, mercy, and justice to everyone. Amen. Please descend. Let us profess our faith, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Sisters and brothers, as we rejoice for our great reward in heaven, Let us also pray to the Father for the grace to make present His kingdom here and now. With joy in our hearts, we say, Faithful God, bless us, your poor children. Faithful God, bless us, your poor children. Make us your church. Remain humble as we strive to shun the temptation of clericalism and ideology. Help us stay true only to the gospel of your kingdom, we pray. Faithful God, bless us, your poor children. Make all those who govern compassionate enough to remember and work for the plight of our poor and oppressed brethren. Guide them by your truth, we pray. Faithful God, bless us, your poor children. Is there in us the desire to serve each other in humility, especially those of us who are lost, least, and last, we pray. Faithful God, bless us, your poor children. Welcome our departed loved ones into your eternal embrace. 
Comfort those of us who were left mourning, we pray. Faithful God, bless us, your poor children. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Faithful God, bless us, your poor children. Faithful Father, through, with, and in your Son, we rejoice and are glad for in him. The kingdom is truly at hand. Make us participate in the work of communion and salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is solely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the hosts of angels 
adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, he be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be cause eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please descend. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under me, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Nagagalak 
iyo ay nangako galak ya o makapantan bunit ako Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcement. The second basket collection today for the National Bible Sunday on January will be for the biblical programs of the Archdiocese, the Regional Bibli Biblical Center, and the CBCP Episcopal Commission for Biblical Apostolate. On February 11, Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes, the Basilica will celebrate the World Day of the Sikh. There will be a Mass with the administration of the Sacrament of the Anointing of the Sick to be presided by Archbishop Ricardo Bacay at 10 in the morning. Only those who are terminally ill, the elderly and persons with disability will be anointed. Those who have contagious diseases are advised to remain at home or at the hospital and request for the anointing privately. Registration and screening of candidates for the sacrament of anointing of the sick will begin at 7 in the morning. Priests will be available for confessions. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those who call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, do you do we plead to us not our Father for help in our need? Ave, ave. Oh uh -huh. 
Emmanuel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 